Welcome Aquarius to my channel Rainbow Wizard Tarot. Today I'll be doing a bonus love reading for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Uh, this is as you were one of my higher viewers uh, watched videos uh, recently posted so thank you very much for watching them uh, that read video sorry and um, thank you for all of you that have subscribed already welcome to all of you that are new to my channel as well please uh, like and subscribe and press the notification bell if this resonates with you and uh, I am using the Mystic Monday Tarot deck. I have pre-shuffled and meditated over the cards. So Aquarius, let's see what is in store with you and your person in love for during the rest of November. <laughs> um, okay, so in the um, in the past there has been communication. You've been there. There's been a, a reconnection here um, with you and your person. However, nothing nothing um it, it could be message exchanges it could be a phone call but there has been communication between you and your person in the recent past so they probably have been reaching out to you like yeah maybe even it could even be just liking a picture or told a friend about you and you got to hear that they spoke about you some kind of communication and showing you that they are still around you here so there has been some back and forth um they will be reaching out in the very near future with communication here more that's more romantically um could expressing you know giving you a compliment or loving your post on facebook or telling you you look beautiful, asking you to go for a date, something romantic, they will express themselves in the very near future. And when they do that, you do feel it does kind of, um, uh, I was going to say boost your <laughs> ego, you have feelings for this person, but you are not so inclined to reach out yourself, Aquarius, but when you do hear from them you do feel a sense of victory that they are still expressing their romantic feelings towards you as some um, you felt that this connection wasn't moving forward at all so you're feeling good good about that um in the month of november they however are feeling um a bit stuck in their mind um, what to do Perhaps there's not much communication from your side. They do know they have caused you pain in the past. So they do know um, what the reason for, for you not contacting them as you might have done in the past. So they are strategically here planning to, you know, steps towards you and, and showing you that they have feelings for you. But they're still feeling tied, not a bit unsure if this connection, if there is feelings from your side, um, uh, Aquarius. But yeah, they are they are still picking up the courage to to reach out to you to express their emotions, and they want to be your emperor. That's their hopes. <laughs> so that's the positive, I suppose. Here, um, they want to be your emperor. Here, they, that's who they want to be. Even though they're coming in as a as a page in the night that's who they want to be. They want to work on themselves to, to reach that, but they're not there yet. You could be dealing with an Aries, strong, someone with strong Aries in their chart. Even though this person wants to be your emperor, they tend to act very much in and out. They come in with messages, expressing their romantic feelings, asking you to meet up, but it's not really getting off the ground, but it's someone that is in touch, passionate, but not really giving you an offer of an emperor, but they're very much around you. So you must, must definitely know who, who they are. Definitely someone with strong fire, very, very strong fire I get around you here. Um, but that's the, um, yeah, that's the kind of negative to this, this connection here that this person can be acting in and out. Therefore you are still holding back Aquarius because they're not showing you that emperor let's, you know, get, make this work and you don't have that trust with them just yet but they are very much around you expressing their love they have a lot of feelings for you this is someone that doesn't want to let you go as uh, as they they do want to to become this emperor but they they have a lot of healing and, and work to do 
you can be dealing with someone there's an age difference definitely in, in, in dealing with someone that is a bit immature in the way they they um are emotionally they might be very mature in the way they go about life and in terms of their work and managing their domestic situation and so on but when it comes to um a relationship when it comes to expressing their feelings there are quite immature this person here but even though they want to be an empress so definitely strong areas for i see very very strong fire in general around the, this person and this person that's around you sorry um they are their hopes for this connection here um aquarius is the ace of cups they want a new beginning they have never stopped loving you and having those feelings for you it just never stops from their side uh, in any communication that you have those feelings come to the surface and you also have feelings for them Aquarius even though you're not so inclined to express it at this time if they come in right if the the right communication is there you you are showing them also that you are interested in them but this is a connection that there will always be a big cup of love between you two it doesn't stop there could be a lot of hard feelings between you but once you it doesn't take much um, communication for these feelings to come again but they are their hope and underneath the deck we have the star you are their star this is Aquarius card and you are their star and you are, you are their wish fulfillment that's that's what they want you are but but they need to to reach your level because in their eyes you are the star and they are they are hoping and praying that one day this this connection here will we, we'll get off to the ground to, to, to be together. Um, the obstacles around this connection at the moment could be the distance with the chariot here. Uh, and there's a lot of fears that you will not be able to get together and that it's going to be too late when you do get together. So, so for some of you, there could be a distance between you, uh, between countries, maybe you can't or states these days with all these restrictions happening. Um, so there, there could this could be a fear that it's due to this separation longer than anticipated perhaps you were discussing on, on meeting up it feels like it's a fear that it's going to be too late you could be dealing with a cancer star sign as well but yeah their their aim is to continue staying in you know keeping in touch um showing you that they have feelings for you But what needs to be avoided here and they want to avoid is um, at all cost. They want to avoid at all cost. And so do you, Aquarius, that this, when you get together or that that's, you know, that at the moment there's a quite a nice energy around this connection that, that, that there is a, there's a fear of this or, to, or, or both of you wanting to avoid that there will be any more arguments or just uh, an abrupt break because this connection here has been through sometimes it could be some you know hurdles here um you have perhaps known each other for a while so you want to avoid that this happens again and, and and keep that um nice flow of messages between you two that's what they want to that's what they're and they're hoping for to to reunite with you and and share with you their their cup of love here in their environment they're there could be some someone that is leaving a connection here because there are cups being spilled. There could have ended a connection. There, someone has left them. Maybe there, there is in their environment here. There, there is a, a cups that have been spilled, and with a death card here, this definitely could be. There is a break. It could be on your side, Aquarius, that you are in a relationship that you've broken up with, or they have broken up. With someone or someone's broken up with them there is a ending here to a relationship that is not between you and your person this is uh this is uh the outside so this is um other people around you that has gone that has gone through a breakup you could be dealing with a scorpio as well so even though they want to take actions towards you there's something stopping it seems to me there could be the distance there could also be that this uh, your person is going through a breakup a change on their side so therefore this connection here things are in a hanged woman hanged man state here mode here at the moment that is just kind of on a, on a pause it's kind of keeping they want to keep this connection with you 
kind of just light and on pause, but they cannot reach out and become the emperor and, and, and tell you and declare their love because they are dealing with something on their own in their own surroundings and by the looks of these cards this is their relationship on their side coming to an end and they are they, they are looking to travel towards you there's a lot of travel with the chariot and the six of swords and also traveling or moving away emotionally from the what they've gone through here the the ending of of this connection here and, and, and this transformation and what they want and the outcome when everything here has you know been settled traveled away to um, come out of this hangman mode and, and traveled to calmer waters here it's the lovers so that's very beautiful they they know that there's absolutely nothing that can change the love they have with you aquarius there's not time space distance there's nothing that can break your the love they have for you and it, it is a connection that will stand the test of times here because you aquarius are their queen of cups you are the one that the only one they want to give fill up your cup to the top some of you aquarius could have water in your chart as well but they see you as someone that is very loving they see you as the queen of cups they see you see you as a water sign for many of you someone that is so you know just so loving and, and caring and just love yourself and you can love others so they really are holding you in high regards and you are their wish fulfillment here and they want to make you an offer so by the end of november they are they are moving away from a, there's, there's something if they're not in touch at the moment it's to do with them going through a breakup or a transformation on their end and, and they will be reaching out to you during the month of november because you are their wish fulfillment aquarius so let's uh, see what the romance angels have to say So very beautiful cards they're very clear to read it's very clear to see that this is a very very strong connection there's definitely something going on on their sides so if they're not you're not in touch at the moment that's that's the reason why they are going through a transformation and moving because yeah moving away from a relationship or a situation or there's some big changes on their side so you are calling in your soulmate you're focusing on yourself aquarius there could be religious factors for some of you um perhaps someone is married uh, that there is a quite a taboo if someone breaks up a, a relationship in their 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 religion basically could be so we have that here we have the give your relationship a chance get another one So yeah, sorry, I got two now. <laughs> we, we got the true love here. So this is true love for the lovers as well. And a new love. So it could be that even there is someone new that will also be coming into your life. So there will be a choice for you to take <laughs> Aquarius. It could be that you get a few offers here at the end of the month because the lovers also mean a choice. But only one of them is your soulmate and only one of them is your true love um and you are sitting there on your chair as the queen of cups uh somebody that has been working on their self and on themselves and you are ready to give your cup of love but only to the one that is your true love and soulmate but for many of you this is a person from the past but there could be a new love as well and you have to make a choice but you will be choosing the, the the true love here so it's a beautiful love cards around you um wanted to give you a spirit animal card so we have the unicorn oh wow that is my favorite spirit animal and my primal sign is unicorn i don't know if you guys ever check your primal sign it's quite interesting but when you do get the the um unicorn it's um it's basically enhances your belief in the magical world so it does remind you 
do not give up on your dreams because miracles is about to happen and when it appears um, it means that the visions and dreams that you have is coming to fruition so Aquarius this these were the messages for you for November thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe if this resonated with you and I will see you soon